Saudi Arabia Israel peace talks have been stalled a Saudi owned newspaper on Sunday reported that Riyadh was halting peace talks with Jerusalem because they believe the government of prime minister Benjamin Netanyahu is unwilling to make any concessions to the Palestinians Riyadh issued a message through the US explaining that the extremist nature of Israel is torpedoing any possibility of rapprochement with the Palestinians and thus with the Saudis but what if i tell you that the recent setback to the Saudi Israel peace talks has nothing to do with Palestine but with an atomic bomb or at least a civil nuclear program Mohammed bin Salman our MBS the crown prince of Saudi Arabia is a cunning politician he really knows how to extract the best deal for his nation he also understands that the peace between Saudi and Israel is very critical to the US as well as Israel this deal would mean a feather in Biden's cap in fact Israel is praying for the deal as mentioned in this report having said that the deal is also extremely significant for Saudi Arabia MBS aspires to reshape the Saudi economy and explore the space beyond oil but for now he wants to keep dragging on this matter he wants to make Biden more desperate for the deal MBS knows US will do anything to strike an agreement right before the elections strike the iron when it is hot MBS will try to conclude this deal just before the elections to extract the best possible concessions MBS has his own terms and conditions his two major demands are number 1 a NATO like agreement with the US basically a security umbrella security guarantees and second the most important MBS wants a civil nuclear deal that is the most contentious point the US however is willing to give an offer based on section 123 of the atomic energy act of the US now such an agreement would not allow Saudis to enrich uranium which can be used to make atom bombs and Saudis have made clear that they don't want a 1 to 3 agreement that means they indeed want to enrich uranium both the US and Israel are against it Yair Lapid in August told US lawmakers that he opposes a potential Israel Saudi Arabia deal that allows Riyadh to enrich uranium because it would harm Israel's security critics also say that leave alone bombs even nuclear reactors are not safe for the Middle East they might be targeted in aerial attacks by adversaries like Houthis or Iran itself to tease the Americans MBS has also expressed his willingness to strike a nuclear agreement with China but in China's case Saudis want to get security guarantees so any day a deal with US would sound much better Saudis have also joined the US backed IMAC project or India Middle East Europe corridor to shore up their goodwill in Washington DC here Saudis indicated that they are willing to join hands with the US to tackle the China challenge and if they want this cooperation to continue then give us the deal we want but the main question is will Joe Biden agree he is the same person who had vowed to punish MBS before becoming the president of the US. Mr. Vice President, the CIA has concluded that the leader of Saudi Arabia directed the murder of US-based journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The State Department also says the Saudi government is responsible for executing nonviolent offenders and for torture. President Trump has not punished senior Saudi leaders. <clears throat> Would you? Yes, and I said it at the time. Khashoggi was in fact murdered and dismembered and I believe in the order of the Crown Prince. And I would make it very clear, we were not going to, in fact, sell more weapons to them. We were going to, in fact, make them pay the price and make them, in fact, the pariah that they are. There's very little social redeeming value of the, in the present uh, government in Saudi Arabia. And I would also, as pointed out, I would end, end the subsidies that we have, end the sale of material to the Saudis, where they're going in and murdering children and they're murdering innocent people. And so they have to be held accountable. And we're now, this is a really tight spot for Joe Biden. Only time will tell how things will turn out. 
But what is definite is you will keep getting to watch such videos on world affairs if you subscribe to Outright. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.